Bullet Club. Hello, welcome back to the channel. As we mentioned before, welcome to the channel if this is your first time. This is the Alan Presents. I am your host for this particular video. I'm Alan. This is my co-host. This is Lien. And as you've already seen from the title card, it's finally here. We are literally, as we sit here today, four days away from WrestleMania XL. WrestleMania! Or 40, if you want to. Yes. Yeah, but they're calling it XL, so. Yes. Um, it's fine. It's it's the biggest WrestleMania of all time. Is it Which though? they say every <laughs> single year, which is getting a really bit old. It's, it's getting old. It's getting stiff. Um, so... It's two nights. If you haven't seen the last few years of WrestleMania, maybe you're new to WWE, maybe you're new to wrestling in general. It's WrestleMania has become a two night spectacle since COVID occurred in 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, ever since then, they've sort of done uh, for two nights. I don't really know why. It's probably to inflate ticket sales probably. and be like, we've sold 150,000 tickets for one event. Well, no, you didn't. You sold it for one event across two nights. So you could probably half that. So stop lying, basically. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> so, I mean, we're not going to get the semantics of that. We're here to give our predictions. Mm-hmm. Unlike last, the last few years of two night WrestleManias. I'm just going to swing my chair because it's a bit awkward and tragic. Um, unlike the last few years with WrestleMania, they have actually given us the day splits before the actual event. Yes. Which is like, wait, what? Yeah. I was stunned when I saw that, Crazy. and I'm very thankful for that. So as a result, our coming soon image is slightly wrong in the sense that we were going to cover non-title matches, then title matches. We are now going to switch it to night one, mm-hmm. and then tomorrow's video, tomorrow's predictions will be night two. So stick around for that. If you haven't subscribed already and you like this video and you like seeing prediction videos for that stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Tomorrow when the video goes up and live, you will get a notification saying, WrestleMania Night 2 Predictions from the Allen Presents, now live. Go check it out. Also, don't forget to like the comment, content so Because, <clears throat> you know, why not? Okay, so if you've not seen our prediction videos before, the way that we do it, or rather I do it, because I handle the predictions, yep. <clears throat> I, I sort of take lead on these, and then Leanne takes lead on the reaction mm-hmm. videos. So the way I do the predictions, I go from least looking forward to matches. Uh, I go non-title matches first. Followed by title matches. So I do them in blocks. <clears throat> Unless it's something like Elimination Chamber or Royal Rumble. Then I'll do least looking forward to to most looking forward to in both categories. So the least looking forward to non-title match all the way down to most looking forward to a non-title match. And then the same for title matches. Because of the way this is, I'm going to separate them out obviously for both nights. I've already got my notes all sorted and stuff. Um, so we're going we're gonna to jump straight into it. I'm hoping this doesn't go ridiculously long for but we shall see. Um, across one night one, we have seven matches, four non-titles, three title matches. Um, so that's like a six, uh, 50 something, six, yeah, four, yeah. yeah, whatever it is, you know, percentage. Mm. I'm not going to worry the percentage of that. Decent number of matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then night two, just a thing, has six matches, mm-hmm. two non-title, four title. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So they have loaded it up a little bit on that one, but we'll yeah, cover that one. WrestleMania. In tomorrow's video. Yeah. So stick with us. That's fine. But first, the first match we're going to cover uh, was announced on SmackDown, just mm-hmm. gone. And it is Bianca Belair, Naomi, and Jade Cargill taking on Damage Control. Yes. That's Dakota Kai and the Kabuki Warriors, Kairi Sane and Asuka. Um, I'm not quite sure why they didn't put a tag team women's tag team title match on this event. Every other title is being defended. Mm. So why not this one? I don't quite understand that. Um... But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure there's a there's not enough women's tag teams that sort of at that spot where they would be challenging. Naomi and Bianca. I don't think they're like at challenge for the championship. When does that ever stop yeah. Bianca Belair going for the championship? Yeah, well, but All we're right. trying to assume the best. Of okay, people here. Naomi and Jay Cargo. Jade hasn't done a match yet. Why would she do the first match back as being the title match for the for the tag team? <laughs> so. When Kevin Owens made his debut in WWE, he took on John Cena for the United States Championship. Yeah. Just as an example. I don't I don't it, envision Jade going for the tag team anyway. Then why is she tagging Owens. up with Bianca and Bella, uh, Bianca and Because it's, it's like, strong together. Eh, or... 
Yeah. So damage control. Um, we're going to cover more about this. This is a bit awkward with some of these because they kind of lead into some other matches. Yeah. Bailey and Eo Sky are facing each other on night two. Yeah. So we will be covering that in more depth mm -hmm. on tomorrow's video. But as such, uh, Bailey is no longer leader of damage control. As a quick brief thing. Uh, they kicked her out. They, they've been attacking her. And as such, uh, Naomi came out and was helping Bailey. Yeah. Um, Bailey was like, you know, look, sorry, uh, I, was, I was a tool. I, I, was, I was just not a nice person. Mm -hmm. She kind of owned up to that mis mistake, let's call it. And uh, Naomi's almost kind of like forgiven her in that sense, even though Naomi wasn't really around for much of it. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> um, but Bianca Bella was kind of stubborn, like, you and her, you know, you didn't deal with this. You didn't deal with that. I've been dealing with damage control on my own. Um, oh, no. On her own? Not on her own. <laughs> um, but yeah, but then obviously Naomi was getting beaten down on SmackDown yeah. uh, last week. SmackDown mm -hmm. um, and out comes uh, Bianca Bella. They both get beaten down. Jade Cargill, who was signed to SmackDown earlier mm -hmm. that night, decided to show up. Very slowly saunters to the ring. Very, very slowly. Sure, so. Given that two people are getting beaten the hell out of in the ring, you'd think she'd have a little bit more urgency, but, you know, there we go. Um, and proceeds to literally pummel all three of damage control. <clears throat> and then after SmackDown, this match got made. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really got much else to say about this, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I quite like um, the new damage control. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think without Bailey, it was great with Bailey, but mm. they don't necessarily need Bailey, and this no. gives them more of a chance to shine on yeah. their own kind yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, so they've slightly not, changed not... out the sort of entrance bit, so yeah. it's EO says damage control now rather than yeah, yeah not not to sort of, not to take away from Bailey um, no, in the sense that when she was with damage control she would effectively put the spotlight on EO Sky yes. or Kyrie saying I don't care, um, or Oscar when she joined or even um, Dakota Kai couldn't think that <laughs> um, you know until obviously Dakota Kai got injured but yeah no yeah yeah it's it's a whole new dynamic and it's, it's I'm all for it I think this damage control is really yeah good. definitely it's great they're vicious and and it's good to see Dakota mm -hmm. Kai has been clear and she's back in ring competitive, yes. uh, competing as well now. It's That's really cool because she's been out for a while. Yep. Um, it's yeah. great to see Jade finally <clears throat> getting into actual wrestling. Six months <laughs> after being signed, yeah. <laughs> and I know there's someone out there who's watching this going, but she needed training. Did you not see? Like, she I'll admit. She wasn't the best, no. but she was, she was good. She's got talent. She, from the point where what? she entered AEW to the point of her last match with... Um, Oh, God, who was our last match? I can't remember. Because like, I know Chris Statlander came out afterwards. Was it Athena or Willow or someone? Um, but yeah. up until that point, she was doing a really good job. You know, yeah. I really enjoyed what Jade was doing. She improved um, hugely. So whether the training did. was in, like, how WWE want to do things. It probably yeah. is, because obviously but they yeah. took it down to the Performance Center and stuff and all mm. that kind of luck. But even in her sort of SmackDown play. debut, she... Just started off by saying it's about damn time, and I was like, "Yeah, it is." Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So it's great that she's going to be in action. Yes, and we'll see how she gels with Bianca and yeah, um, uh, Naomi. Where the hell is that match? I cannot find that match in my notes. <laughs> it's okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's just bugging me now. Yeah, because I could. It wasn't all in because she didn't appear at all in. All out. I've got Chris Statlander versus Ruby Soho for the TBS title. So it was before that. Mm. So was it on like a Battle of the Belts or something? But I wouldn't have thought they would have done that on Battle of the Belts. I don't know. Um, I'll if I find it, I'll I'll pop a little thing out. But um, but yeah, it, it's mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to see where they go. Um, yes. from here with Jade, <clears throat> I'm not convinced in the the tag team of Bianca, Naomi, and Jade. But who knows? We haven't seen Jade in the ring with WWE, <laughs> so it might be uh, that she's technically there. wrong. We did see her in the Rumble, and she did yeah, a really did. good job in that. But it's whether. She's that glue for that team. Whether they can work together, cause yeah, not convinced, but open to see how. They I think do. it's with, with Naomi and Bianca. It's very much a, the enemy of my enemy. Yes, and it seems that when Naomi was helping Bailey and showing to do the right thing, Bianca was like, "I'm not doing that because she did this and she did that." And it's almost like Drew McIntyre's heel turn, mm -hmm. and it almost feels like they, that's kind of where they. They're towing that line with with Bianca Belair that she's towing that heel. Yeah, turn. I feel like they're not certain if that's where they want to go. So they're testing it out, mm. maybe. But we'll see. And, and uh, this may end up sounding bad, but I'm going to say so. Bianca Belair obviously is ethnic. She's a black woman, and she has been on top of the the um, women's division in the company for for, for some time. Now, 
you need a face in that position, yeah. of, of like a like a baby face. With Jade coming in, could she replace Bianca Belair as the face? I don't think Naomi could. Don't get me wrong, Naomi's talented. Yeah. I just don't think she's good enough to be the face of the company. Mm-hmm. Jade could, if the development and the performance center has done has gone right. Yes. That's the thing. I mean, Depends she did it for AEW how for how the TBS title. Mm. You know, um, so potentially Bianca's heel turn. Could all depend on Jade Cargill and how she does. Yep. Possibly. Very possibly. Mm. That being said, who you got winning this match? Uh, I think it's going to be the Bianca Naomi Jade team. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm agreeing with that. <clears throat> so yeah. supposedly, uh, well, not supposedly, someone before Elimination Chamber, a few weeks before Elimination Chamber, someone in WWE accidentally put the full match card when they're doing qualifying matches for the Women's Elimination Chamber match put this card up, and mm-hmm. Jade Cargill was one of the participants. She was removed from the match because they didn't want her losing her first match. Uh-huh. Well, Rumble obviously doesn't count because you're technically not getting beaten, you're just getting thrown over the top. Yeah. That's where my reasoning for this, of, of my pick, is that's why. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't want Jade to come in as a powerhouse. Yeah, they want her to look strong. They so want her to look strong. losing her first match yeah. isn't going to help. Even and I would... It is tag team, so there is a... There is that opportunity to have the team lose, yeah. but not Jade. But... but I would even say that Jade will be the one doing the pinfall or the submission or whatever yeah. it is that she does. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I think that's a good prediction. Yeah, I think so. That, that's based in that, you know? Um, okay, so the second <clears throat> of our non-title matches for this particular night one is a also made on SmackDown last week, and it is the returning Rey Mysterio tagging up with Dragon Lee the newest mm-hmm. member of the LWO, versus, and they're taking on Santos Escobar of uh, Legado da Fantasma and Dominic Mysterio of the Judgment Day. Yes. So there's no love loss between Ray and Dom. I think it was last year's WrestleMania where they fought. Or was it the year before? Yeah, it was last year's. Um, it was last year's WrestleMania where Dominic Mysterio and Ray Mysterio fought. Mm-hmm. And I should have checked who won that because it's been a year and I can't remember. Who won that match? If I can find it. So you got that one right, apparently. So Rey Mysterio won that match. Mm-hmm. So I think Dominic probably still holds a bit of a grudge on that tent. Yeah. I do when so this all this all came about when um we've we've covered the intro with, with Rey Mysterio and Santos and all this kind of stuff before in our previous videos. Long story short, Rey Mysterio had an injury, Santos caused the injury, wished his leg would fall off and they or like he had to amputate it because mm-hmm. it got so bad. Rey Mysterio returns. And he challenges Santos to a match the week after on SmackDown. They're having this one-on-one match. And a, 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 like a, a luchador in a mask comes out of the crowd, grabs Rey Mysterio's leg, sort of hooks, heel hooks him um, when it looks like he's about to win the match against Santos. And it's like, what the hell is that? And I'm like, I know that hair. That's Dominic. Mm-hmm. And it's one of Rey Mysterio's masks. Yeah. Pulls it off as Dominic Mysterio, causing the distraction, which allows Santos to roll up Rey Mysterio, I believe it was, and pin him for the win. So Santos gets a single singles victory over Rey Mysterio. Mm-hmm. Next week on SmackDown, which I, was last week then, Santos comes to the ring, Dominic comes to the ring, they're kind of gloating, you know, how we, we pulled the wool over his eyes, you know, this man hates Dom, uh, Rey Mysterio just about as much as I do. Out comes Rey Mysterio, and he's like, all right, you know what? How about you, Santos, and you, Dominic, Take on me and a partner of my choosing at Philadelphia, a WrestleMania. And he was like, and, and they're like, yeah, you're on. Which one of these LWO losers is it going to be? And Ray's like, it's the newest member of the LWO, actually, Dragon Lee. Now, I didn't see the match, but Dragon Lee is the person who beat Dominic Mysterio for the North American Championship mm-hmm. at NXT. Yeah, yeah. So there's obviously some, oh, well, he beat me. Uh-oh. That's yeah. not good because he's got my number kind of psych- uh, psychology yes, going on. Yeah, got some history. Yeah. And obviously, Rey Mysterio really wants to get his hands on Santos Escobar. Yeah. But how do you even the playing field with that and his son? You bring in someone who's already beaten Dominic, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and then that was pretty much it. That's, 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 all, that's all we've got about this because that's, that's pretty much how it went. Yeah. I feel like it, it's a bit <laughs> of a blast from the past kind of thing, bringing Dominic back in because it felt like the Dominic versus Rey yeah. story had... Done. That's been done. It's done. fine. Yeah. But now he's back. But yeah. I think they have handled it quite well and mixing it in with the, the Judgment Del Fant- Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bit. Although I'm nervous about what they're doing with Judgment Day right now. Yeah, with same. Dominic not communicating and 
things <laughs> seem like they might be falling apart and I'm not ready for judgment day to end. So <laughs> no. um, I'm crossing my fingers that it's a blip and I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, Everything's yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, but it is a bit weird, Dominic, bringing people in. And yeah, well, he's like, trying to bring Andrade in as well when Andrade yeah, returns. Promising him a, an official spot on the yeah, team. Yeah, last night on and Raw. And everyone else is like, yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, don't like yeah, it. Yeah, it's a bit but weird. If anything, Dominic gets kicked out of Judgment Day and they carry on, perhaps. Uh, can we just talk about that, that, like you mentioned, with the dartboard? Who throws darts at a dartboard this close? You could literally... You might as well just go... Yeah, this, this, you can't play darts in that room. Come on, guys. <laughs> can't do it. It was terrible. Um, but they tried. Yeah. It's Dominic's yeah, yeah. fault for suggesting darts. Yeah, pretty much. Um, anything else about this one you want to say? Uh, I think it could be a great match. I think yeah. even if the yeah, storyline's not 100% there with this one, it feels like you're <laughs> going to get... You've got great talents in the ring, um, and they have good dynamics with each other, so it, it, it's going to be great yeah, yeah. whether or not the storyline is as fleshed out as I'd like it mm-hmm. to be. Obviously, we've it's got okay. Santos, quality talent. Yes, for sure. Rey Mysterio, in my opinion, is overrated, but he is great he in the ring. He is great Can't in the ring. that one. Dominic, he's come on so much in the last number of years. Yeah, Dominic, Huge as much as people might say, oh, well, he's, he's rubbish, he's trash, he's all this, he has improved so friggin' much. And he's found his own style. He, he really hasn't, has. He's not just tried to Six beat Rey Mysterio. 6'19 is way through the, yeah. <laughs> he's... Too tall to be Rey Mysterio. Anyway, <laughs> so got to find your own style, and, and he's done it. Yeah, and obviously Dragon Lee, they brought him up from NXT sporadically mm-hmm. because he had one match on SmackDown and everyone was blown away by it. Yep. You know? It's great. So I'm very, I am really <laughs> looking forward to this match, actually. Yeah. Um, who you got winning? Rey and Dragon Lee. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, like you said, Dragon Lee's really impressed in the short time he's been... Yeah, we haven't seen him for a while, so no. I don't know if maybe you went down to NXT again maybe for a little bit. Maybe he's been training with Jade. Oh, imagine. <laughs> um, we, I don't watch NXT anymore um, since they did the whole Ed 2.0 thing. It was awful. I just haven't gone back to it since. Yeah. I might, if I can find some time, watch Stand and Deliver this weekend. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot going on. Um, but yeah, I don't think... Ray, this is redemption for Ray for what Santos did. So I think having Santos and Dom win isn't the right move mm-hmm. in my mind. Yes, I agree. And I think um, whatever happens in this match will then lead into how the Judgment Day thing develops. Yeah. So if they're this... going to lose, then that gives Judgment Day more sort of fuel to be like, well, we told you that you yeah. need to talk to us. Yeah. There, there could be a lot of stuff. Obviously, we're going to talk about the tag team title match later yes. on. Um, there's a lot of things on for Judgment Day mm. on this card. The one person who isn't is JD McDonough. Yeah. He's in the Andre Battle Royal on WrestleMania SmackDown, which I absolutely hate, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you're going to do it, put it on the pre show. Yeah, I, I agree with that. But Simple. there we go. Pre shows for ads yeah. and recaps. So. Yeah. Um, Okay, so speaking of people who aren't on the show, let's go into our next match. Okay. And it's a bit of a bit of a stretch, bit of a segue in the sense until you know what I'm on about. Love a segue. So the next match is another tag team match with uh-huh. some random participants. Technically, we have Roman Reigns and Dwayne the Rock oh, yes. Johnson versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. Uh huh. Okay, so in this match we have Roman Reigns, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Yes. Okay. We have Seth Rollins, the World. Heavyweight champion. Yes. Okay. We have Cody Rhodes, the number one contender for Roman Reigns' title. Mm-hmm. And we have The Rock. The most famous man in the world. The final boss. <laughs> <clears throat> the term that not only Serena Deeb used over, um, like, what, six weeks ago in AEW in uh-huh. a promo, and then The Rock starts using it. Interesting. But Kazuchika Okada has been using that. Yeah. Or the commentators, rather, have been using that in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Mm-hmm. To describe Kazuchika Okada because of how dominant he was out there. Yeah, I think it's sort of come from though that he's on the board, so he's kind of the boss. So eh. it's sort of developed from there. Might be a bit of taking inspiration, perhaps. Yeah, as well. maybe, but I don't know. Um, I just, I, oh, it, it irks me a little bit. But it, it does. We've been talking about. <laughs> I'm, this a, I'm an Okada we fan, so you know. While we were watching Raw, I think <laughs> that you've got the tribal chief and the final boss. Yes. But the final boss answers to the tribal chief, so. Isn't the tribal chief the final boss? Yeah, no, it's, exactly. Yeah. It's a bit of a muddle up. <coughs> um, I'm really glad that I get to see The Rock in action in the ring just because I wasn't watching when he was an active wrestler before. But it does make me nervous. And the way we've talked before about how the storyline's developed and how he's come into this match and it's a bit like, oh, I don't know. Um, and the crowd is so mixed. It's crazy. 
But I'm still looking forward to seeing this match because it could be it could be great. So the stipulation of this match. Yes. If Cody and Seth win. It Cody versus Roman on night two is one on one. No interference, no shenanigans, nothing. Mm-hmm. If Roman and The Rock win, it's bloodline rules. Anything Pretty goes. much anything yeah. can happen. Anything goes. Okay, no rules. <clears throat> it kind of comes out, we've already covered this a little bit because of Elimination Chamber, but Cody Rhodes issued a one on one challenge to The Rock at Elimination Chamber. I think it was either that SmackDown after that or the one after that again. I forget exact timelines. It was about seven weeks ago or six mm-hmm. weeks ago, whatever it was. Um, the Rock comes out and he's like, no, nah, that's not going to happen, but I'll issue an alter mate, uh, an ulterior match. And he pr- said this one. And 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 it's, it's kind of gone from that. Yep. <clears throat> um, there's not really been a massive amount to talk about with this, apart from Rock and Roman uh, coming out on SmackDown or Rock on his own or the, or the Bloodline and taking pretty much 25% of the entire show, if not longer, to cut one promo. It's a lot of talk. They did it on Raw last night. The yeah. first match aired at like 37 minutes without adverts. Mm-hmm. A lot of talk. That's 45 minutes of just The Rock and Roman Reigns. And I'm like, oh, God, I really want this to end now. I'm mm-hmm. really bored of this. The Rock is great on the mic. There's no doubt about that. And Roman Reigns is really good on the mic as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, we, we're watching it to see some wrestling. <laughs> it's world wrestling entertainment, not world talking entertainment, right? If I want to yeah. listen to talking, I'd go listen to a podcast. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Um, uh, I was going to go somewhere with that. I can't remember what Sorry. That's my fault. Yeah. No. It's fine. Yeah. But it, <laughs> it's... I mean, like, it, it's... You're saying about you're, you're, you're excited to see The Rock in the ring. Yeah. The problem is we don't know what shape he's in. Very true. He looks jacked. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily necessarily mean he's in ring shape. Yeah. He hasn't had a match for 11 years at this point. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing they've done like mock <coughs> matches and stuff off camera. I'm assuming so. Training. They must have done something, but that doesn't mean there won't be ring rest. Yeah, exactly. Especially in front of like, what, 60,000, 70,000, yeah. whatever the attendance of the, this, this field is. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely certain how, how what the capacity is. I should have thought of looking at that, but it's big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and onto my segue of of this. So mm. as mentioned, we've got Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes both competing on night two. We've got Seth Rollins yeah. competing on night two. Yeah, that's effectively one entire match that you could have done with a bunch of guys who aren't on the card at all, including yeah, but not true. limited to Shinsuke Nakamura, Bronson Reed, Ricochet, JD McDonough, both of Imperium, mm-hmm. Chad Gable, Bron Breaker. Yeah. Should, should I carry on? There's so many. And... Ron Breaker, they brought him up to SmackDown. Yeah. He had two or three squash matches that literally took like 20 seconds each, and then we haven't seen him. Yeah, it's not not great. I know he's the NXT tag champ with Baron Corbin. He's probably back down to NXT. Why bring him up to SmackDown mm-hmm. if he's not going to be on SmackDown full-time? Yeah. Don't do it. They could have done this match <clears throat> to set the stipulation on the Raw before WrestleMania. Or the Smack- WrestleMania SmackDown, WrestleMania is it? So Keenan Smack- WrestleMania SmackDown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. shunt the ba- Andre Battle Royal into this show and give all those talented guys mm-hmm. in that match, mostly talented guys in that... Some of the talented <laughs> guys in that Battle Royale yeah. a shot at WrestleMania. Yeah. Even I if guess. it's the pre-show. There might have been something about, like, something in The Rock coming back where he's like, well... I've got to be on WrestleMania, and they're like, "Well, I mean, it's a good it draw for WrestleMania, hundred the percent." Then, yeah. then the stuff happened with um, the with Cody winning the Rumble and challenging Roman, but then giving away his thing, and then everyone's like, <clears throat> "You can't give away to the Rock. That's silly." So then, in backtracked and like, wait, now we have to have yeah. Cody versus Roman, but we have to have the Rock. So I feel like that's where this has come from. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yes, so yeah. they've they've backed themselves into a corner. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. They should have just done it right the first time. And fine, yeah, I mean, but... think about it. If, if people hadn't sort of, well, if Cody hadn't won the Rumble, mm-hmm. or if people hadn't complained, well, I say complained, um, lobbied. If so people much, hadn't been justifiably angry at the decision <coughs> We would have had the Rock versus Roman Reigns at this year's yes. WrestleMania. <clears throat> yeah, and that would have been... And memorable. I don't know how to feel about that mm-hmm. either. Again, eleven years is a long time yes, to not be an active competition. Just have, have him host is fine. <laughs> you know. Um, anything else you got to say about this one? I'm looking forward to it. I think it's mm-hmm. going to be it's going to be a good match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I hope card, so. I, I hope think so. is the storyline's think... not great, but the match is going to be good. <laughs> I think Seth Rollins can shine up anyone. Seth Rollins is that mm. good. And I mean, Cody Rhodes nothing to sniff at either. Not at all. But he, I, in my mind, Seth Rollins is better. 
He's the, he's really the star. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, who you got? <clears throat> Rock and Roman. I think Why? I feel like with the it's either a stipulation that makes the next match more interesting, or a stipulation that makes the next match a plain match. Mm. I think WWE will be leaning towards the anything goes <laughs> interference is going to be chaos rather than a fair fight. So that's why. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I'm not going to. Well, as you said, so so as you say, right? If if Roman and Rock wins, it's bloodline rules. Yeah. My guess would be the Rock does not want to lose at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. My gut instinct is telling me that if it was Roman versus the Rock. For the title, The Rock would have won it. Yeah. And then, mm. yeah. Um, <laughs> no thanks. But and we're gonna. I'll talk about this more on tomorrow's yeah. video for night two, obviously. But Cody Rhodes versus The Rock in Bloodline Rules. Okay. Mm-hmm. If he wins the match, that makes that match so much sweeter for him. Yes. If he's got those stack, those so odds stacked against the him. Odds, yeah. But on the other hand of things, Roman Reigns can he take Cody Rhodes one on one? You know, so it's. Oh, either one could be very interesting. It could be. But I think this one is the more, oh my God, what just happened? You can yes. do so much with the Bloodline Rules match, you know? Yeah, definitely. <coughs> For WrestleMania, they want to go big, they want to go all out. Yeah. So I think that's what yeah. they'll do. And there's something which I'll cover on tomorrow's video. Oh, giving for, you a lot of lot to look forward to. Yeah, <laughs> for the Roman versus Cody match. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the speculation flying on the internet, which, which we'll talk about during that match because it belongs in that match cool next up then <clears throat> carry on with the bloodline a little bit mm-hmm. the last non-title match and my most anticipated non-title match of night one is jimmy uso versus jay uso yes now we said before we don't like jay uso's yeet thing not a fan of that but he can go in the ring oh yeah both these guys are amazing jimmy Hasn't really wrestled much recently. No. But his in ring, his, his promos and stuff have been solid gold. Mm-hmm. And he's obviously, so, I mean, okay, so we're going to have that. So this has been teased for a while, obviously, when Jay left the bloodline. Yes. And he he went over to Raw. Um, Jay was facing Gunter for the Intercontinental Championship mm-hmm. just after Elimination Chamber on Raw. Jimmy Uso comes out of the crowd and costs Jay i got to get these names right. <laughs> the title. He distracts him. I can't remember if he hit him or if he just distracted him. Gunter obviously gets the win, retains the championship. Um, and then next week on, on, I think it was Raw, Jay's like, how about Jay versus Jimmy at WrestleMania? And they haven't really sort of interacted since mm. much. There's been kind of standoffs and sort of like stare downs, but not like physical altercations. I think there was maybe one... Again, six weeks. There's been a lot of stuff going on. It's it's a lot to remember. Um, but there's been a lot, quite a few promos back and forth, which have been really good. Mm-hmm. But like people talk about chemistry and tag team chemistry, you don't get any more chemistry than with your tag team partner, who's also your twin brother. Yeah, you know, and that's like, oh my god, this match could be lit. Yes, this could potentially be the show stealer for night one. It could be absolutely. It's, they were a tag team for so long and yep. were just so good. <laughs> and we've been waiting now for the brother versus brother, and we've got it. Yeah. And it's it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be great. I figured it was gonna wait. be a Survivor Series. Yeah. And they didn't pull the trigger. They did mm-hmm. the Bloodline versus uh, the, the the whatever you wanna call that team. The other um, team. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Seth and Cody and, yeah. and whatnot. Um, but this one on one is going to be fire. I think. Yeah. I think I'm so. really looking forward to this mm-hmm. one. Um, I like both guys. They can both go. Um, yep. And it's interesting to see Jay and Jimmy as single wrestlers because they've done tagging for so long, mm-hmm. you know? Um, I think Jimmy, in in sense of his part of the storyline, obviously he kicked Jay out. But I think he's becoming a bit resentful of Jay because he's kind of becoming the bigger star. Yeah. And I think that's where this is really stemming from on his side of things. Yeah, quite possibly. Obviously, Jay won the tag titles with Cody. Yeah. And then he was trying to win the IC title. And I think that was like, Jimmy was like, nah, no mm. yeet. No yeet. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. um, slight side note as well. Um, on Raw, when they were talking about this match, they said this is only the third time we've had brother versus brother at WrestleMania. Mm. Do you know who the other two or what the other two instances were? 
Uh, <clears throat> I remember them saying it, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Now. WrestleMania 10, Owen Hart versus Brett the Hitman yeah. Hart. WrestleMania 25, Matt and Jeff mm. Hardy. Yeah, that's right. So this is only the third time in 40 years of WrestleMania that we're having brother versus brother. Mm. I know that this is the first time I'm having twin brother versus twin brother. Yeah. Which is awesome. Yeah, I think it's, it's great. Cool. Um, anything else you can say about this one? Oh, <clears throat> it's hard to know, like, what's going to happen, I think. Yeah. It's going to, it might be impacted by what happens in the, well, the Roman I think match is probably going to be That's probably the main event, yeah. So, uh, but this could affect that. This could affect <clears throat> the Roman versus Cody <clears throat> match. Mm. So, I don't know. There's a lot riding on it, really. Um <laughs> Hard to predict for me, I think. I'm probably gonna Gotta pick go someone. with Jay. Going with Jay? Any any inkling why or is it just like a gut feeling? I think it's it's close. <laughs> I feel like <clears throat> if the bloodline are winning the main event, then Jay Jimmy losing his match <laughs> sort of puts a bit of a interesting <clears throat> dichotomy in there that then could spin into the dynamic in the next match and how the interference goes. Gives Jay a boost, so he's got that confidence to stand up to the whole bloodline, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of a wishy-washy one, but mm. uh, that's what I'm going to go for. Who am I going for? Jimmy. Nope. Ah. I'm also going for Jay. Okay. I think the... And... and uh, So... Okay. I get the feeling that... The Rock joining the bloodline will end up crumbling and will end up breaking the bloodline. Right. There's two massive egos. Okay? Yeah. Slight, that's a slight tangent. But having Jay beat Jimmy starts that crack forming even harder. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's already cracks. Yeah. It cracks harder. So you're going to have The Rock saying, well, we need to kick him out. And Roman saying... No, we're going no, to keep him. Yeah, we're keeping him in. He's blood. Yeah. Yeah, whereas Roman is not blood. Mm -hmm. uh, not Roman. Rock is not Rock's blood, not rather. Blood, yeah. yeah. Dwayne isn't blood. So I think that having Jimmy lose, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Rock and Roman obviously win, as our predictions, which Rock we just and covered. Roman connection. And it's another reason why, but it's kind of, I am looking forward to this match more, but it's also another tipping point as why I put this uh -huh. after the Roman Reigns and, and Rock versus Cody and Sam. Um, Roman Reigns, are, Roman Reigns and Rock are going to win the match. It's going to be bloodline rules for Cody versus Roman, mm -hmm. right? Now, they're going to have like a team meeting the beginning of night two, and they're going to be like, Jimmy, don't mess up like you did last night. Uh -huh. You will help your tribal chief retain his title. And then obviously that leads into some of the interference. Yes. Okay. So it's not, it's, it's very big pressure then on Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah. You know? So things go wrong then uh -huh. in that match. Yeah. He gets the blame. Uh-huh. So let's just, for example's sake, mm -hmm. let's say, Fantasy for example's <laughs> sake. Well, no, no. We, I don't want to cover this in massive detail because that's yeah. night two. Let's say, for example, Jimmy ends up screwing up. Roman loses because of that. Mm -hmm. Jay will be like, bro, I told you. Yeah. What did I tell you? Leave the bloodline. And it, it cracks even harder. Mm -hmm. And that rip really starts to come apart. Cool. Yeah. You know? That's kind of how I'm envisioning it. We'll sounds see. Good. Sounds, we'll good. See. sounds interesting. Mm. So that was our non-title matches. Now for the first of our three title matches for night one. Mm -hmm. We have defending the Intercontinental Championship, Gunter versus Sami Zayn. Yes. So Gunter's been champion for some 600 odd days. I can't remember the exact amount. He's, mm. he's a record-breaking champion. He's the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion. They need to stop doing this because it's getting old. Because they've got two of them now. It. This is true. This is true. <laughs> but they've got two of them doing this yeah. now, and it's like, oh, okay. Um, in that case, why isn't Gunder facing Roman Reigns, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So Sami Zayn. Um. I've got nothing per se against Sami Zayn. No. I don't mind Sami Zayn, but I don't think he deserves this spot. Mm. Okay. He won a match on Raw against Bronson Reed, JD McDonald, Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Chad Gable. To, it was like a six pack challenge thing, yeah. and he won the match and went on. He goes on to WrestleMania. Gunter was just basically dismissing him straight out of hand. He's mm -hmm. like, Well, you're not going to beat me. I don't see you as worthy competition. Yeah. And then him and Chad Gable had a bit of a friction. Yes. But apparently now he's being trained by Chad Gable, which is a bit like, Okay. Yeah, it's like Chad was saying, um, Like, I wanted it more. I'm like, Okay, cool. Because he, he was all salty about it. And it's like, I've only told you this because it's what you need to get to get you on top because you do better when you're under pressure and when no one believes in you. So I didn't believe in you, but now I do because I'm training you in it. 
You know, the funniest thing for me was when Chad goes up to him and says, you can't beat Gunter. Do you know who else couldn't beat Gunter? Chad Gable. Chad Gable. <laughs> Twice, yeah. I might uh-huh. add. Yeah. I I don't like... I I think this isn't the spot for Sammy. No. I really don't. Last time he was in the Connell Championship, he was promising that documentary. We still haven't seen that said documentary. Yeah. Sammy, where is that documentary? We want to see it. We want to see it. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I mean... like. I, Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens headline last year. They beat the Usos for the tag team titles. And mm-hmm. I was okay, great, yeah, awesome. And I think part of that for me was like, well, it's Kevin Owens carrying the team. Yeah. Not, not Again, not to take any ability away from Sami Zayn. Not at all. But I just don't really find him that interesting. Mm. He hasn't got that charisma in my mind. Yeah. He doesn't hook me. Kevin Owens, on the other hand, yes, is punching out two people kinda. at once. <laughs> so funny. He's, yeah. he's very much stone cold for the 21st century. Mm-hmm. He would... I bet you'd be so happy to hear someone say that. I'm sure lots of people have said it, but yeah. that's what he's going for, right? Yeah. That's what he reminds me of. Mm-hmm. And I'm assuming that obviously he's using the stunner as a finisher. I'm assuming he went to Stone Cold after their match two years ago now, mind. Yeah. At WrestleMania and said, look, can I use the stunner? Mm-hmm. And I bet Stone Cold was like, hell oh, yeah. hell <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have you got anything else about this match? I, there, it's a David and Goliath story. Yeah. Um, the one thing WWE love almost as much as a record <laughs> is an underdog story, a David and Oh, Clark like Rey Mysterio beating Big Show clean. Yeah, they love mm. it. Um, <clears throat> which is why I think Sami Zayn is going to win. You and Sami? I am. Um, not necessarily that I want it to be like that. I'm sure you'll find a really creative <clears throat> way to do it that won't be just unbelievable. <laughs> Gunther's been great. He's been an amazing champion, um, a very different kind of champion to <clears throat> some that, that we're usually used to, but mm. he's been defending. He's had a great run. I think this might be the one where they end it and Sami Zayn will do it. Okay. Who am I going for? Sami Zayn. Nope. Oh, you retain. I'm going for Gunter. Retain. I, oh. Something in my, my gut is telling me that they've got something ready. Last, so... The Monday night after WrestleMania, uh-huh. Monday night right after WrestleMania is usually a massive event. Yes. Last year's was nothing more than a damp squib. Mm-hmm. Putting it politely. Yep. It was awful. Everyone said it. Everyone thought it. It was just trash. Yeah. Um, I get the feeling they might. I don't know who. Mm-hmm. I don't know what. But what if Gunter comes out with this title and says, eh, I be- I've beaten everyone. Who else is there? Open challenge. Open challenge. Whoever's in the back that wants it, come get some. Oh, okay. Out comes whoever, and they beat Gunter. Interesting. But I, I haven't figured out who yet in my mm. head. It's, it's kind of, I haven't really been thinking about it that long. It's only sort of after Raw and I was making my notes that I started thinking about this. Yeah. But I think that would be more impactful than Sami Zayn mm-hmm. winning it. Because then it looks like they're building up some sort of thing between Chad Gable and Sami. Yeah. And for me, Maybe. that works better than having Sami Zayn win the IC title. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't at me. I think Sammy's just going to join the Alpha Academy. Potentially, yeah, potentially. He seems to be a Klingon. He just goes from Bloodline to Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. Yeah. He's going to, yeah. He works better in a team. That's yeah, fine. yeah. And no there's nothing wrong with that. that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Give us the documentary. <laughs> yeah. Next of our title matches, then, we yeah. have for the Women's World Championship, Mami Rhea Ripley mm-hmm. is defending against the man Becky Lynch. Yeah. So, Rhea Ripley. Uh, has held this belt for nearly a year when she beat Charlotte Flair at last year's WrestleMania for it, and she has been nothing but dominant ever since. Uh-huh. Unless you look at the match with Nia Jax, which was just awful. Yeah. Um, Becky Lynch went into the Elimination Chamber uh, at the same event and won that match to become the number one contender for the women's... I keep more going to call the Raw Women's Championship yeah. because it's still... For the Women's World Championship. Mm-hmm. They've had some promos back and forth. They had a bit of a scuffle on Raw last night. Um, there was a point where Rhea Ripley started bringing up her kid. Yeah. 
uh, that 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 was a bit personal. And I kind of like that fire of it. Yes. Again, there's not been a massive amount of build up on this one. It's just been a bit of talking back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah. They're um, angry at each other. Yeah. It's great. But Beck is basically <laughs> saying, "Keep my kid's mouth. Uh, keep, Wait. Keep my kid's name out your mouth." Yeah. Basically. That one. <laughs> and she she turned up on Raw last night and she's fired up. She's in the ring and and, and Adam Pierce comes out. He's like, "Get out the ring. There's security. We're not going to do this right now. Radio. Save it for it's less than a week away." Out comes Rhea Ripley. Don't do this, Rhea. It's less than a week away. She throws the belt at him, bulldozes through the security, and they start beating the hell out of each other. Yeah, yeah. that's what we like fun. to see. It was fun. And they, they, they were even fighting backstage, and they, they couldn't contain it. It was fun. Uh-huh. That was nice. It was good. You don't really see that from the women much. No. And I like that. It's good. I like the fire of this. I thought that was really cool. Um, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's going to be great. Becky Lynch is a brilliant talent. <coughs> uh, future Hall of Famer. Probably. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. And mm-hmm. Just even... As just actual a, mommy, <laughs> actual mommy, as a person outside of the ring as well, I get the impression that she's she's just a, a role model for the others, and yeah, um, I think so. She's like top of the top of the list kind of person, a locker room leader. Yeah, as they call him. And Rhea Ripley <laughs> is what? Well, what can you say? Mommy's always on top. She's an incredible. Talent. I mean, look at look at her rise the last year. She beat Charlotte Flair. She's gone from here, and she just kept yeah. doing this. It's just a constant uh-huh. upwards trajectory for Rhea Ripley right now. She's got that charisma, mm-hmm. the emotion that she can portray in a load of directions, even with the stuff with um, Dominic. Yeah. Sort of bringing other people into the locker room. Yeah. The, the, her into acting the Judgment even. Day locker room, that is. Yeah. Her, her, like, acting and, like, her actual concern for what he's doing and that he's not talking to her, it really comes across. Yeah. And uh-huh. so she's not just this hardened person. She's got deeper <clears throat> emotions to her character. Yeah. Um, she, she's such a talent and... Yeah. Um, one of the highlights of WWE for me and like, many people. If she and we don't obviously don't want this, but if she ever became injured or wanted mm-hmm. to take a break, she could easily go into filming, oh, acting, yeah. like films, TV. She could easily go into an acting career and she would crush it. Oh, for sure. She's Definitely. doing so well. So good. So this this match is going to be amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's not enough women's matches ever. But no. there's I'm only two on here. night one. <laughs> And there's only yeah. one on night two. Which is a shame. But it, it's just how it's the state of the roster at the moment. And the so. downside is, so so just quick backtrack. We're gonna slight slight tangent a sec, okay. right? Okay. Winners of the Royal Rumble get to do what? Uh have a championship match at WrestleMania. In Hell, headline WrestleMania. Main event WrestleMania. Yeah. Bailey is not getting a headline event because no. she's going up on the night with Roman Reigns and Cody. Yeah. If anything, Bailey and the Sky should be headlining this show. That's this night true. one. I'm really annoyed for that for Bailey. I blame The Rock. <laughs> yeah. I blame The yeah. Rock for it. Anyway, so we're going back around. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if we the last thing we want is some shoehorning women's matches in <laughs> that are going to be <clears throat> not WrestleMania worthy. Yes. We don't want that to happen. So yeah. I kind of, I can forgive them having less matches because of the state yeah, yeah, yeah. of the roster. I would rather but, less matches. Yeah. Even just throwing a couple quality. of multi put like, and we'll talk about that in a sec, but yeah. like, High quality matches, less matches. Don't burn your yeah. time. Don't go for five hour one night, six hour no. the next night, because that burns everyone. Oh, out. it does. When they had that WrestleMania, there was like nearly seven hours. Ooh. Oh my god, I couldn't. Yeah. I just couldn't. The two matches on night one are, are going to be great. The two women's matches. I'm looking forward yeah. to both yeah. of them. So one's, I think, it's I think good. one's definitely going to be better than the other. Yeah, for sure. But and neither of them is going to be a dud. I don't. No, think. I don't think so. I don't think so. Though. This is good stuff. I'm looking forward to this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, in that sense, then, who do you have winning this match? Rhea Ripley or Becky Lynch? Man or Mommy? It might be what I want. So we're going for Rhea Ripley. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, retain. Okay. Please. And um, who am I going for? Rhea. Exactly it. Yes. I, oh. I, they would be ridiculously stupid to yeah. take that belt off her right now. She's still... Sorry, title. She, it hasn't plateaued yet, the Rhea Ripley hype. So they need to keep it going. It's, it's still on the way up. Yeah. And like... They they did announce yesterday, um, as we're recording this, that Clash of the Castle uh, two, I guess. Yeah. The next Clash of the Castle event is happening um, on a weekend where we're at a festival, so that's going to be fun. Um, and it's not in Cardiff; it's yeah. in Scotland. If they'd said Clash of the Castle is happening in Ireland, I would have been all over going Becky Lynch is winning this. Yeah. But it's not. Or actually, no, I wouldn't have. I would have said if Becky Lynch. We'll end up getting a rematch uh, at yeah. that, and she, win it. It. Yeah. That. and she would win well, it. Yeah. Not that that helped. No. Drew McIntyre in his hometown of Cardiff, <laughs> Wales, in Scotland. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. So Scottish Warriors from Cardiff Wales, apparently. Yeah. No, no, no. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Um. Yeah. So yeah. No. I. I, I think that would be stupid to take that off for you right now. Mm-hmm. I just don't think it's it's the right time. Agreed. Cool. Okay, and that leads us on to the last of our title matches, Ooh. which is the six pack ladder match for mm. the undisputed tag team championships. Mm-hmm. So we have Finn Balor and Damian Priest defending against DIY, the Awesome Truth, the New Day, New Catch Republic, and Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. I love there's only one well, I just said Judgment Day defending, but there's only one team there that doesn't have a team name, and that's Theory and Waller. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, if they win, I'm going to be so upset. <clears throat> um, well, there's a rumour going around that they're not going to be in this match. Oh. I, I can't remember where I saw it, but there's a rumour going around that Theo and Waller will end up, something will happen, and they will not be in the match. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, so let's, let's just, just quick quick back thing. So DIY qualified. Uh, they, all these took place in qualifying matches. On SmackDown, there was a tournament. On Raw, there was just singles matches. Mm-hmm. DIY beat the Creed Brothers. Awesome Truth beat Indus Sure. Yep. Just about. That thing with our truth was nuts. Yeah. And then New Day beat the Alpha Academy. <clears throat> On the SmackDown side of things, uh, Waller and Theory uh, overcame the OC and the Street Profits uh, with the help of Final Testament. Mm-hmm. And the New Catch Republic beat uh, Legado del Fantasma and Pretty Deadly. So that's how we've gotten to this match. So everyone qualified apart from Judgment Day because they are the tag champs, yes. just rightly so. One thing that came out of Raw this week, which is rather interesting, was the very specific wording mm-hmm. when they were talking about this tag team match. Yeah. And it was something along the lines of, the the match continues until both bet sets of belts have been retrieved. Yes. They're splitting the belts at WrestleMania, I think. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. To me, that's, they're, they're splitting them. That's Otherwise, they wouldn't like. have specified, right? What, yeah, exactly it. Exactly it. Um... So we'll we'll go on the, the with the we'll, we'll, we'll it's all good because it's it's yeah uh, that's all we've really got to say about this because there's not been much else for build up yeah they did have DIY and New Day versus the entirety of Judgment Day mm-hmm. on Raw last night and the Judgment Day one um, which was cool um, and like you said I'm not sure that I'm ready to see Judgment Day end no. so I really hope that's not the case that this is coming down to but, yeah um, is there anything in specific you want to talk about in this match any any team in specific or I don't, I don't think anything specific. I'm trying to think. No, it's more just straight into the match. I think there's so much going on with the qualifying matches and everything. So that there wasn't exactly storyline build up because you're know, qualifying to go in. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I mean, straight into the match. Good. Um, I have, well, it's, it's how we want to do the predictions because if they're spinning the belts or if they're not, it makes a difference. So, I'm going to, I guess, if we go with. <laughs> We can say two teams <clears throat> if we have justification, and if they win anything, then it's it's a good. Um, I reckon the first set of belts will be retrieved by Judgment Day. Okay. And they'll get cocky, and that's when mistakes will be made. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure who the second ones will go to, but it won't be Judgment Day. Okay. Um, it might be Awesome <laughs> Truth. Just because I think that'll be hilarious. Um, okay. yeah. And actually, I would love to see that. So yeah, I'm, I'm going with that. Yeah, I, I, would, I would love that. Judgment Day get the first that. lot. <clears throat> awesome Truth get the second lot by some yeah. crazy accident. Yeah. So and let's, it's going to be good. <laughs> let's just say then. So we'll, we'll do two starts of prediction. This okay. one, so let's just say that one team is winning all of it. Okay. Because oh, we don't know judgment if they are spending Judgment Day. Yeah. Okay. I, I can't. I just can't envision them without the belts right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to... I'll do the same. So I'll pick two okay. teams. Um, ah, the catch of this is that... The, hmm, one of the teams would have to go to SmackDown. If Awesome Truth win... Mm. Well, it depends on which ones they pull down first. But oh, it's either going to be Judgment Day or Awesome Truth. The means nothing. Uh, it means nothing right now. Not the Judgment Day. Everywhere. No, 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 no. Not the Judgment Day and Damage Control. <laughs> But damage control kind of works because of the women's tag yeah. title. So, um, yeah, I'll, I would do the same. I would do Judgment Day will get that first title belt, and they'd be like, "Ha, we already got one," and then someone come over and kick the ladder. Yeah. Set number two, and if mm-hmm. if one team is walking away with all the gold, okay, I think they're gonna pick DIY. Okay, they are sort of on the way up. Yes. Quite quickly. Yeah. 
So I think that that's yeah. a good shout. DIY. I mean, I think I am nervous about that pick. I'm not going to lie. I would rather mm. see Judgment Day retain everything mm-hmm. because it's Judgment Day, or, or like you said, they'll hold one set of belts and then someone else will take the other set of belts, which is fine. Um, awesome Truth would be a hilarious so pick good. for tag belts. Like you can imagine Truth being like, "Look, dog, I got the US title and you got the IC title," and Miz is just like, "Oh, for God's sake!" <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> the whole card is so serious. Apart from <laughs> Awesome Truth, our truth, yeah, which just not even just it's not even <laughs> it's Awesome truth. truth. It's just our truth. <laughs> so it's... Miz is deadly serious. <laughs> just imagine everyone's like, "This is so good. It's intense. It's all serious." And then then he gets it. It'd be hilarious. Be how's great. he How's he going to mess this up? He's not going to think it's a ladder match. What's he going to think it is? Steel cage match, you should look around like, dog, where's the cage? Mm-hmm. Or like, um, uh, elimination chamber. No, I'm trying to think. What's the one where they're in, in a shark cage at the start? So he just hangs out in, at the top of the ramp for ages. And oh, war games? It. Yeah, it'd be like, we still think it's war games. There we go. <laughs> Or oh, you'll be like thinking it's a reverse ladder match. You'll be trying to put the belts back up. Someone will take it. Like, truth, uh, like Miz will bring one down. And Truth will be like, gotta put it up, back up, back up, gotta win. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, this is my good. most anticipated match of night one. Yeah. Because I'm so stoked. I love ladder matches. Mm-hmm. Damien Priest, Finn Balor, DOI Awesome Truth. New Day, I can take or leave them. Mm-hmm. Um, New Catch Republic, I still hate that name. Yeah. They're both great talents. Love the team, hate the name. Pete Dunn, <laughs> superb. Oh, yeah. Tyler Bate, super. Mm-hmm. Um, if Theory and Waller get removed, I've been trying to figure out who they would put in. Now, there was speculation that Matt Hardy's contract was coming up with AEW. Right. And he's been very cagey about it. Okay. But if his is up, I don't think Jeff's would be because he's injured. And usually mm. they freeze a contract when you're injured. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can't think of anyone else they would dump in there unless they bring up the NXT tag champs. Mm-hmm. But it hasn't been long since Baron Corbin's went back down to NXT. So I don't think they would do that either. Mm. So I don't know. Um, yeah, so that, that's our predictions for night one. Um, if, when we watch SmackDown on Friday night, which is obviously the night before, uh, we'll be watching it Saturday, obviously, because the UK times will be Saturday for us regardless. Mm-hmm. If we do change our minds on any of these or night two predictions, we will alter the description down below. If anything gets changed or updated or new matches or new participants or whatever, we will update them in the description down below. And we will do that well before uh, the, the actual WrestleMania night one starts. Um, okay, so at the end of these videos, we always say what we think is going to be our most looking forward to match and our least looking forward to match in sense of not so much, uh, or, or rather, which one do we think is going to be the worst match and which one do we think is going to be mm. the best match. doesn't necessarily mean least looking forward to in that, but it could be any of those. Obviously, we could change our mind when we're talking about this. Which of these matches is your least looking forward to? Steel's notes. Rude match. Oh, it's actually tricky because... <laughs> I really do like this card. Um, not necessarily, like what we talked about, not necessarily for the storyline and build it, mm-hmm. but the matches in isolation yeah. um, just sound like they're going to be yeah, really yeah, yeah. good. Yeah. Um, I think it's between, oh no, I think it's sort of by process of elimination. It's Bianca Naomi, Naomi Jade versus Damage Control. Yeah. Um, I think it could still be a great match. But it's like it was against, I guess, Ray and Dragon Lee versus Santos and Dom. Yeah. But I'm really looking forward to seeing Dragon Lee and Ray Mysterio <coughs> as a team. Mm, mm. Um, Gunther and Sami Zayn is sort of close, but I think there's some very interesting stuff that could happen there. Mm. I see a sort of process of elimination. Yeah, it's the that women's the match. six the six woman tag. Yes. For me, I'm going to stick with Gunther and Sami Zayn. Yeah. Um, I really like Gunther. I don't necessarily want to see him retain that title for much longer, mm-hmm. but I definitely don't think Sami Zayn is the right person for it, and I don't think Sami Zayn should be put in this position over someone else like a Nakamura. Yeah, you know, Fair. it's it feels like they were building up Nakamura. They had him face Seth Rollins. Yeah. They had him face all these high like Cody Rhodes. They had him infused with that. Some really good promos. And it seems that the only reason they were trying, they were, the only reason they were doing that was to show that they could have a non-primary English-speaking talent work really well on TV yeah. to try and influence Kazuchika Okada to come to WWE and it just fell by the wayside. He went to AEW to, yeah, they so probably it. offered him more money because mm. WWE apparently low balls, they did with Will Ospreay. Um, and obviously the Young Bucks are some of his closest friends, yeah. Matt and Nick Jackson. So why wouldn't he want to go and be with his friends instead of coming here and probably having a prolific sort of three month feud in NXT, bring up to the main roster to go sit in catering, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so that's unlike one. Uh, oh yes, um, what's your most looking forward to match? What do you, what match do you think is going to be like? Oh my god, this was the best match of the night. It's the ladder match. It's the Absolutely. Ladder match. Yeah. And I talked about Jane Jimmy and how much I was looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. But that ladder match has so many moving parts on it. Oh yeah, literally, <laughs> lots of ladders. It's gonna be awesome. Really good. Really good. There's, some, there's some close contenders, but there is. ladder match. Mm. Any final thoughts? Anything else you want to say about this? There's WrestleMania. Yeah, we're going to get the Snickers in. Not sponsored. You're not going to get Slim Jims because we can't get them in the UK? No, no. Well, it might do in an American shop, but it's probably expensive. So, oh, no. Snickers. Snickers. <laughs> really looking forward to it. It's Alan's birthday weekend as mm-hmm. well. So, we've got lots mm-hmm. to celebrate. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just really looking forward to <laughs> watching some wrestling and having a good time. Mm-hmm. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> Take us away then. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Um, we really appreciate you. As always, please like this video if you liked it and subscribe. Hit the bell if you haven't already to be notified when we drop new videos, including our night two predictions, which will be up tomorrow. Um, follow us on socials. We're <coughs> on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Our link tree is in the description below, which will take you to all those places. And let us know if you have any differing predictions or what your fantasy booking mm, is for this mm. re- re- WrestleMania. Yeah. What can you see happening? Um, if Theory and Waller are getting removed, who do you see going in that place? Yeah, that's a good one. Mm. Let us know that. Mm-hmm. I'd be interested to hear what you think. Um, so yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> um, and that's that, That's it. Until next time. Um, Snap it to a Slim Jim. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you can afford it. Bye. <laughs>